Hi, welcome to MasterCook. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MasterCook 2020 Windows program on your computer. So after you've installed MasterCook 2020 onto your computer, you'll see its icon on your desktop, so you can double click on it to launch the program. And you'll see that two programs appear, the main MasterCook 2020 program, and then this My MasterCook Manager. The My MasterCook Manager allows you to log into an account at mastercook.com if you have a subscription, and this allows you to sync the content that you have in MasterCook 2020 on your computer with your private account at mastercook.com. This way you can access and edit your online content when you're away from your computer. And you can also use the MasterCook mobile apps that are available in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And the My MasterCook Manager also has other tools that let you back up your files for MasterCook 2020, as well as merge files from an older version of MasterCook and into MasterCook 2020. So you'll find in MasterCook 2020, there's this block navigation bar at the top of the program, and it allows you easy access to the different sections of the program. So if you go to the cookbook section, you'll see the cookbooks that are in the program. And MasterCook 2020 comes with this My Cookbook. And if you open it up, it has a recipe inside that says how to use the My Cookbook and how to get more free recipes. So if you view it, it'll explain to you how you can go to mastercook.com and download and get free cookbooks from mastercook.com that you can add to MasterCook. And if you want to create your own cookbooks in MasterCook, you just click on this little new icon here and it will let you type in the name of your new cookbook. And then it'll show the cookbook that you just created and now you can add recipes to your new cookbook. So you type in a name and type in the number of servings and then you can type in the ingredients and it has an autofill that recognizes unit names and it also recognizes many ingredients. So when you start typing an ingredient name, it'll try to guess what you're typing. So you type in your ingredients into your recipe and you can insert a picture or a video for your recipe. And in the directions section, you can type in your instructions here. And you'll notice that for each direction row, there is a column that you type in text and on the right column, there are these triangles. These allow you to insert more pictures into your recipe. So you can insert multiple pictures per recipe by inserting a picture into each direction row if you want. And then you can click on these tabs to add data to other fields for this recipe. You can assign categories to the recipe. The nutrition tab will give you a nutritional summary of the analysis for this recipe. If you click on this little heart icon, it'll give you a complete nutritional analysis and show you all the nutrients that MasterCook knows. You can toggle between the recipe edit screen and the recipe display screen by using these two icons here. You can add the recipe to a shopping list or to favorites or to a menu. You can click on this measuring cup icon to scale the recipe. So right now this recipe serves four. So let's say you wanted to scale the recipe so it serves 10. You just type in the new number of servings and press OK and it'll update the ingredient amounts automatically for you. You can spell check the recipe. You can, like I said, nutritional analysis. You can export the recipe if you want to send it as a text file to somebody else who doesn't have MasterCook. And you can print the recipe. In the search screen, there's this basic keyword search here. Or you can use this expanded search button and it will let you perform a much broader search. So you could search by nutrients. You can search on in certain ingredients. Let's say you have like a peanut allergy. You could tell it to find recipes that exclude peanuts. The meals section has a menus and a meal plans tab. 
and the main differences between the menus and the meal plans. The menu is a single course, like breakfast or lunch or dinner, just a single um, course. Whereas the meal plans, if you double click on the new template, you'll see it is several courses over several days. And so if you want to add to your menu or meal plan, you click on a little triangle here and you can add an item. Like let's say we want to add an orange for breakfast. I hit enter and it'll ask you, you know, what the amount you want. I'll just type one orange. And you can also insert recipes into your menu or meal plan here. And you'll notice you also have this heart icon available, which will give you the nutritional analysis for your menu or your meal plan per serving. So that's um, pretty useful. And in the shopping section, you'll see there's the shopping list tab and the pantry. So a pantry will let you create, you know, let's say you want to track what items you have in your refrigerator. You can create a pantry and input your items to, to keep track of them. Or you can create a new pantry, an additional one for what you have in your freezer. And you'll notice at the top, if you click on a column header, you'll be able to sort by that column. So that's a real handy feature to know. The tips area is a glossary. And so you'll find many items in here. Some of them have photos. The favorites area, this is like a bookmarks area. So it makes it easy to get to something without having to search or you know, figure out which, if you have lots of recipes and you don't know, you know, you don't want to look for a certain recipe, you want to be able to find it again easily. You can add a recipe to the favorites and it'll appear here. The master list is like a Windows Explorer. It gives you an overview of all the content in the MasterCook 2020 program. And the nice thing about it is it lets you open up another master list window. And so you can open up a cookbook in one master list, and then you can open up a different cookbook in the other master list window. And then you can select a recipe and then drag it from the right pane of one master list and drop it into the right pane of the other master list. And this is an easy way to copy recipes from one cookbook and into another. And if you have a menu or a meal plan, you can also drag and drop recipes from one master list and then drop them into you know, a menu or meal plan in the other master list window. So back in the cookbook screen, if you have a previous version of Master Cook or cookbooks from a previous version, you can easily add them into the Master Cook 2020 program. So you go to the cookbook screen first, then you click on the tools menu and select manage collections. This opens up the manage collections window and it shows you all the folders you have on your computer. So go to the folder that contains your MasterCook cookbooks from a previous version. I have some here inside of this deluxe collection folder. So you select this folder that contains the cookbooks and then you press the add icon button and it will add all of those cookbooks that are in this folder to MasterCook 2020. So now you have them available in the program. And you'll notice that there's tabs here. You can select to view the cookbooks by the covers or just the titles only. And if you're viewing the titles only, you'll see the column over here. It tells you how many recipes are in each one of these cookbooks. So if you open up a cookbook and you're looking at the recipe browser screen, you'll see all the recipes that are inside of this cookbook. And again, you can view them with pictures and text or just the text only, titles only. And the nice thing about the recipe browser view is it has this great ability to filter these recipes. So right now we're looking at 501 recipes that are inside the casual dining cookbook. And you can tell it to just show you certain recipes. Like let's just see the recipes that are in the bread category. So now it's showing me that there are 34 recipes that are in the bread category in this cookbook. You can also use one of the predefined searches. So you can tell it to show you um, recipes that are high fiber. So it'll it'll show you that there, it found three three recipes that um, have high fiber in them. So this is a great way to, you know, filter and just see particular recipes without having to go to the search screen. 
there is much to learn with Master Cook 2020, and it's impossible to cover all of the features in um, a brief video. But if you go to the help section in Master Cook and select help contents, you'll see it has a search tab. And so you can search on any term. And this help is very in depth and explains every single feature and command available in the Windows product. And so you can type in a keyword that you're looking for and then press enter and it'll show you all the topics available, you know, with that keyword in them. So, you know, let's say that you wanted to learn how to publish your own cookbook. You could, you know, type in print and then you can open up the topic that talks about how to publish your own cookbook. And MasterCook will let you, you know, print an entire cookbook, including a table of contents and a recipe index as well. So there are many features in MasterCook and you can use the help to help you learn how to use those new features. And, you know, if a command, you're not sure what a command does, just go to the help and type in the name and it'll, it'll explain to you what exactly that command does. So thank you for purchasing MasterCook. And if you have any additional questions, you can always just send an email to support at mastercook.com and we'll get right back to you.